So let's begin in our space. You have configured all your technical components in the lobby, but now you want to modify your settings inside the space itself. Before we begin, notice that when a student first enters your space, you can see an in lobby label on the student's feed, which indicates that they are still adjusting their settings and we get a notification that they have joined or left when they join or leave. Let's now start with a core feature of the lesson space, the comms or communication doc which is anchored to the right of your screen on any tab. Here you can see a number of useful features. You can enable or disable your video feed here. When your video feed is disabled, your feed will turn black to all other users and yourself. You can then enable or disable your microphone over here. If for some reason throughout your session, you decide to plug in a different video or audio source, you'll automatically see a prompt pop up where you can test your new video or audio sources. For example, here from my student's perspective, a different audio source or video source was plugged in. In the new menu that shows up, we can change our settings like we did in the lobby in our previous video. You can see the same video and audio toggles as well as input and output menus for our devices. Once you have fine tuned your audio visual settings, we can also share our screen to others in our space. To do so, go back to the comms doc and click the button that says share screen. In the interface that pops up, we have the option to share our entire screen with or without audio with this little toggle here, or we can choose the other tab to select an application that is open to share. For example, if you just want to share your browser window so other users cannot see the rest of your computer, you can click the browser from the list of applications. Make sure to give your browser the correct permissions to share your screen just like we did with our video and audio devices in the previous video tutorial. A window will pop up to prompt you to do this for the first time you click the share screen button in the comms doc. Next, let's check out the chat feature in our space. In the chat, we can send messages to each other in the space by typing your message in this field. You can also delete your sent messages by clicking on the small arrow on the message and clicking delete message. You can also attach files in the chat to send through to others by clicking the attach button over here. In this example, I took a quick screenshot of my screen and sent the file to my student in the chat. Attachments can include video, audio and PDF files as well as a whole bunch of other file formats. Finally, my favorite feature, we can also send emojis that will display on our video feeds to everyone else if we hover over the chat button. This is great if you want to send a reaction to your student if they do some great work or say something funny for example. We even have some confetti that will play a fun animation that everyone can see, which is also great if you want to express congratulations for your student's work. Confetti however is only available for the leader of the space, so usually the teacher will only have this option. There are still three other modes in the comms doc to check out, which are your video layout modes. We will cover these in a separate video, which you can find in the link in the description below. And that's it. We hope that this has been helpful and be sure to check out our other video tutorials if you have the time.